All right, here we are. We have the Nerf Pulse Rifle from Aliens. This thing is epic. I mean, just packaging alone, I am super stoked. As you can tell, I'm a fan of the movies. <laughs> Uh, what? In this custom jacket that I had made. So patches you can get anywhere, jacket you can essentially get anywhere, but check this out. So I actually designed that and had a local shop put it on the jacket. And I thought this is the perfect time to wear it. Hopefully it's not too noisy. While I'm doing the review, if it is, we'll just take it off. No big deal. So normally I do figure reviews, like all this stuff, and then we'll look at like details and articulation and all kinds of stuff. But Obviously, we can't really do a whole lot of that. But this, the detail and the packaging, I'm loving it so much. So you got this, you know, Nerf logo wrapped around in this piece of plastic here. I got a couple holes in it, like uh, acid from the aliens, obviously. You do need four batteries, which is, you know, a bummer. Why couldn't you just do like a small rechargeable battery? I mean, almost everything has a rechargeable battery in it these days, and I feel like it's got to be pretty cheap considering some of the stuff you can get, you know, from like Amazon or whatever that has a rechargeable battery. However, so we have all the warning labels and things. We've got here the plastic free packaging label, barcode on the back side. And this box, obviously, a little too big for my viewport here with this camera set up, but we're going to make do. We've got this nice UPC here on the back, which, you know, just looks like it's their product being sold, which is pretty cool. Um, so they just, this is a nice way to blend that all together. Uh, LV426, obviously the planet. And you got these nice hinges designed into the packaging. I'm already just a huge fan of all the little pieces and details that we have going on in this box. So we got some information here. Sides of it, if we can get this in here. Uh, <laughs> so that's it on the side of it. Nothing real special. Same on both sides, but packaging artists, excellent work here, whoever that was, because again, Hasbro never ever lets you know who was involved in packaging or sculpting or design or any of that stuff. However, let's get this thing off, uh, some tape holding it in place. So two pieces of tape that hold this thing down, you can just slide it off once you cut the tape and then toss it off to the side because nobody needs it. This is what we're here for. This beautiful work on the box. It is actually uh, like 3D textured as well. You get the light, can, you can see that through the light. I don't know, what would you call that? Embossed into the box? It's really nice. Um, so let's open it up. So again, we got the handle, the hinge points, which are right where they would make the most sense. That is a nice setup on the inside. So we got these cover panels. I think the darts, yeah, the darts are in here. Barely exposed, which is interesting. Um, I wonder why the cover piece is there. But anyway, let's look at the packaging here. Uh, probably best to do it from this angle, but we have <laughs> uh, an awkward way to do this review. Hmm? So on the inside of the box, we've got some patches or stickers rather. And then it looks like this is all you know, like a, a sticker that's been ripped off, but it's just all built in as part of this, like as a complete unit. Everything has a purpose here and feels like it's, it's lived in this box, which is really nice. I mean, we have like little numbered things here. There's no text on any of it, which is interesting. Maybe there's some paperwork in here that talks about, but you know, it's pointing to a lot of stuff on here that, you know, is not actual stuff being used, but it would be kind of cool to have like some text. Oh, it's all over here. So that's interesting. So they, somebody actually went through the work and typed it all out. And then what, for whatever reason they felt, well, let's just rip that off and, and uh, get rid of it. Interesting. So let's open up the first panel here. There's the inside of the panels so is the same. So a nice exposed shot of the gun the pulse rifle, which, you know, I think scale wise is probably a little off with the barrel and stuff for the, for the real, the movie version. This seems a little tiny. Obviously you don't have all the cutouts through all this stuff, but it does look good. Uh, obviously this is for me, one of those things that you definitely would want to have customized. And I have a plan for that. And I will share that information at the bottom of the screen of who I am reaching out to, of who I have already contacted. And once I'm done with this review, this 
will get shipped over to that person and they will do a custom paint job and um, get rid of all these like Nerf logos and stuff, which is really cool. So I am excited to have this as a more of a movie replica. I think it's definitely the way to do it. Obviously it's Nerf and you gotta go with the Nerf colors and stuff for safety and all that stuff. But if you're a collector or you know, you're doing cosplay or something, this is a great affordable route to go if you can get a hold of one of these guns and then have somebody modify it with the paint scheme and stuff. But let's take these other panels out. So here we have all the darts. We got some safety paperwork, it looks like. What do we got here? So basically the instructions on how to use it, how to load it. Um, so here's where you kind of get the little call outs to all the pieces that are actually in here, but it's, it's a real setup. But I love that even this instruction manual looks almost as if something you would get if you were in that universe. It just looks like it's all part of it. Like it's intended to be this way. So there you go. There's all the instructions. There's a lot going on there. I'm not gonna go through all of them. That's not why we're here. And you know, I don't need no instructions to know how to rock. Bonus points in the comments if you know what that's from. So we got that one. So essentially you have the bullet here in the gray with the gold tip. And then you have this one, which is your like grenade launcher. Uh, there's nothing inside any of these panels. So that's it, let's take it out. Uh, so all of this is just kind of, there's some tape down here. I guess the tape is just to protect from the plastic rubbing against the cardboard. So that's, that's actually very thoughtful packaging, nicely done. All right, now we got some breathing room. My God, okay. Obviously with the Nerf logos, then it's another call out for Nerf, I would assume. I don't know if that has any particular meaning. We've got 10 because it's 10 bullets that'll hold. Aliens, two here, the fake rivets and bolts and nuts and stuff um, on the other side. So here you have your required imprinted warnings and things, uh, safety concerns, you know, don't shoot people in the eye and all that stuff. But yeah, this is a very nice looking piece. You have these, you know, like a safety trigger kind of molded into it. A lot of non-functioning bits, but it looks overall really nice. It's heavier than I expected with the most of the weight being in the, in the front. So heavier up here than it is in this back section, which I guess makes sense. Um, but it's got, a, it's got a really nice feel to it. So there we go. We don't have any, we don't have power right now because we do have to put the batteries in, which will go into this compartment here. We'll unscrew it and put those batteries in. So let's do that now. <laughs> All right, so batteries are in. We've got power. Obviously, it's doing something. Um, and it is, I wonder if that flashing is coming through in the recording, probably, because of frame rates. That's just frame rates. These are solid. They do not flash. But you can click. These are going to be your counters for up and down. So let's ejecto. Uh, so bullets inserting the mags, uh, pretty straightforward. You have an arrow and a maximum of 10. So it's just showing you that the front is that way, but yeah, you just, just like the movies. <laughs> um, so there we go. That's simple enough. I'm not gonna put all 10 of them in there. And then how do we get the grenades in? All right, so the grenades, uh, they're just gonna be single load. So you gotta insert that one at a time. So you need that sweet belt to put all your little grenades in but there you go so you just do that cock it then pull it not too bad and it doesn't hurt that close all right so there we go we got the 10 but I only put three in so it doesn't know but you can do this and that's a very interesting sound but we have a counter again this is solid. I wonder if the iPhone will pick it up here. So this is actually a solid counter. The, the, the flashing is just because of frame rates. But it's just frame rates. So yeah, this is a solid light. It looks really nice in person. Um, I really think that the, the paint job, which I can't wait to get done. So things to know that this does not extend, which I think is totally fine. No big deal. Uh, I would love 
I don't know how they would do it, but a flamethrower that you could use along with this thing. I don't think Nerf does flame darts yet, but that would be sick. So you push this to release the cartridge. There you go. Refill your bullets up to 10. And then when you insert it, it resets basically just to where you had it. And then you have two triggers. So I guess this is like a safety one. Oh, yeah, it gets the motor running. That is intense sounding. I got my cat out of bed. That is pretty wild. So you have, this is a, a locked trigger. So you do have to rev that up to get the bullets to get ready to shoot. Oh, and it's fully automatic. But without any bullets in there, let's see what it sounds like. The sound is stupid. Removing the fully automatic auto motor thing in there, that audio, and just try to focus on this part. Here's the speaker. So the speaker is this item here. It just has some generic gun noise. This is awful. That's stupid. Anybody that's familiar with this movie knows the sound of these pulse rifles, which I will put here. Here they go over there, get them! Come on, come on, get them! So that's a huge disappointment. It's just, man, that's, it's like you, you're gonna have to find somebody that can modify the audio too, because that is stupid. I mean, leave it to Hasbro to always do something that just irritates me. Like who? You're gonna put that much work into all of this and then that's the sound? God, I hate it. So for whatever reason, you can open this piece and actually see one of the bullets in the chamber. I guess if you just wanted to like be able to look down and know whether you actually have any ammo left because you know, you'd have to, if you're in a Nerf war, you need to know how many are in the clip at all times and that, that yeah, it doesn't make sense, but I don't know why you would care to open that. So the counter, here we go. So you hold it down long enough, you can start counting by 10 digits. 99 for, you know, cosplay reasons, I suppose. But I think 80 something is the, what you see in the photos or in the, in the movie, like 83 or 84. I drew it in that painting, whatever, doesn't matter. All right, so there we go. As you can see through the detail shots, it's I mean, it's a good looking piece. There's not a whole lot to really talk about it. it. You know, it's all plastic with a little bit of paint work, a lot of bright colors, cause it's Nerf and you gotta have that for safety and all that stuff because you can't have it look like a real weapon unless you get somebody to modify it. But it's not a bad piece. I mean, for $99 or if you had a gift card that took 20 bucks off, then it's even better of a deal. But yeah, I mean, if you're a huge Nerf fan, this is probably, you know, a, a good gun to have. Fully automatic, it's pretty cool, only 10 bullets. But if you're an Alien fan, it's, yeah, like definitely do it, but definitely have it modified, which we'll do a follow-up video uh, once this one is done. But if you're a Nerf fan and an Alien fan, oh man, this thing has got to be heaven for you. So. Things that I would want to have done, obviously shave down all the Nerf and like weird stuff on it, get it painted. I hate the audio. I, I hope to God that there's something that can be done about that. And then find a way to have a strap done for it. Um, I gotta think where it mounts on the real one, but we'll look at that here. But yeah, I think a, a strap or at least mounts so that you could have done that yourself would have been awesome. Just for a little bit more of a, you know, movie look. But overall, I think it's a very nice piece. It's got really good weight. It doesn't feel cheap. It just sounds cheap. And I will never get over that. It would be nice if like this piece moved. I'd rather have like a safety trigger move than this compartment at the top. Let's just, 
So that's that's ultimately it. We've done it. So how do you feel? Is this something you want to own? Are you going to go look online now and see if anybody has this? I ordered this pretty late from GameStop. Um, so all the people that were pre-ordering them from last year, I think, I think some of those folks got theirs after the GameStop customers got theirs, which was like a year after pre-orders, which is insane. So pre-order it last year and then it comes out. GameStop offers it for like, the, I think right around the same time it finally officially is released. And then I ordered it and I'm pretty sure I got mine before other people. I just now am getting to the review. But yeah, so the counter will shut off by itself. That's it. We've done it. Can't wait to get this thing modified and have a great looking paint job on it. That is, it's, it's a must for this. And maybe put it over here in this blank spot that I've always got. We'll figure something out. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested in seeing any of these figures in reviews, I've got tons of stuff on the channel, but watch this video here to see what NECA's figures are like. And uh, we'll see you next time.